For today's project, let's talk about boats and generators. Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this Generac 3300 and my Silverton 34. So let's say you're out and you want a pot of coffee or it's really hot and you want to run the air conditioning. You're going to have to have a generator of some sort. Now, I've looked at options for this boat, for a typical marine generator that would go in the engine room or down here in the cockpit, and the prices were insane. For a 3.5 or 5 kW Westerbeek, it's north of $10,000, and that just isn't justifiable because it's not a requirement to have a generator to run this boat by any means. So I shopped around for many months and found this guy. This is a Generac 3300i inverter generator. Uh, this was enough to run the 16,000 BTU air conditioning and do anything else that I need. Now, this isn't a marine generator. This isn't going to go in your engine room. What I'm doing with this is putting on the swim platform and using the 30 amp twist lock plug from the generator directly to the boat as if it's coming from shore power. At a price point of about $800 to $900, depending on where you can find it and what's on sale, this was a much more affordable unit and easier bullet to bite to purchase for the boat, because it is a bit of a luxury item, it's not required. So I've had it out a few times now, enough to test it and figure out what works best. Swim platform with a short 30 amp cord to the main inlet on the boat, and I'm able to run microwave, toaster oven, a small space heater, uh, my laptops, and the battery charger, the refrigerator, pretty much all at the same time when I'm at anchor and working away from the pier, which is a nice benefit. So I'm going to go over the generator now and show you some of the features and the connections it has, and then later in this video I will show you how I put an hour meter into this because I plan on using it a lot and I want to keep up on the oil changes and make sure everything uh, stays as good as it can be. Alright, let's get to it. So here it is. This generator is a little bit bigger than the Honda 2000 or Honda 22i. It's about 60 pounds and you most definitely can grab this and lift it up where you need it to go with one person. Um, so here is the main control panel, off run choke, little USB charger, outputs for parallel, two regular 20 amp sockets, and the biggest feature for me was a 30 amp twist lock. That's prevented me from having to use any adapters to run the shore power into the boat. A little diagnostics for low engine oil, check engine and green light when everything's okay, eco on and off. And at the end of this video I'll show you how I put this little hour meter in just to keep track of what's going on. But overall a great little unit and at 3300 watts that was enough for the air conditioning. recoil pull start. Usually on this, put it on choke in one or two pulls and it was good to go. Hour meter on it just to, you know, see if it'd work and see how it did. So today we're going to take some of this casing off and maybe put this hour meter where it makes sense over here. So with a number of fasteners, the pieces of plastic just come right off. Um, I took off the black pieces here, here, and here, and worked on the fasteners around for the orange, and they mount down here, and it just comes right off. You shouldn't have to pull or pry on anything, and if you're doing that, you may have an extra fastener that's still attached somewhere. So with the hour meter, it's just gets a signal from the pickup wire and I think what I'm gonna do is route it down here I wasn't able to get any of this off without maybe some major surgery behind there so I think I'm gonna just run the wire make a little hole right here and either put the hour meter right here with some velcro double-sided tape or just put in some little screws here because there's there's nothing to interfere back here Okay, after fighting with this for a little bit, there is a trick to get this back together. Up here, 
where the fuel tank is. Well, geez, let me just take it back off. <laughs> this is what was holding up. I'm getting it back together. It needs to seat right there. So I kind of had to take the tank and press that back into the casing to get it to squeeze together and fit back nicely. Also, this part of the mount fits in right there. So that was the trick to get this to come back together nicely. Call that a job well done. Just ran the wire through here, down, just drilled a little hole, stuck the hour beater right there. I'll pull this wire a little bit tighter and clean that up, but I got this hour meter from Amazon for $7. You know, good enough for a little generator here.